टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिराइव द कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ अ डबल सर्किट लाइन और पैरल सर्किट लाइन एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड वाइल वी वर डिस्कसिंग द इंडक्टेंस ऑफ अ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन वाई वी यूज डबल सर्किट लाइन्स और पैरल सर्किट लाइन देज हैव लॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट्स इन दिस सिमिलर राइट ऑफ वे वी कैन ट्रांसमिट मोर पावर वी बाई यूजिंग द सेम टावर वी कैन ट्रांसमिट मोर पावर राधर डबल पावर by using those same towers and similar space if uh, the tower is designed properly so in this way a double circuit line helps in the transmission of more power further there are lot of benefits as we have already seen that while deriving the inductance we saw that we could increase the gmr geometric mean radius of the conductor because of that the inductance was reduced this further helped in the uh, reduction in the voltage drop along the length of the line now let's see how to derive the capacitance of such a double circuit line you see we will take two case first i will take the hexagonally spaced transmission line that is the conductors are occupying the vertices of a regular hexagon that is the sides of hexagon are equal and it is equal to capital d so similar to our inductance concept we will try to place the similar phase conductors as far as away possible so i have put a and a dash dimensionally opposite similarly c and c dash have been put diagonally opposite so this left us for the position as b and b dash like here so you see in this first case i will derive the expression of the capacitance by using the same formula which we have been using earlier also that is by uh, the derivation of the potential difference between two points due to charge and their superposition and after that i will show that the method of the modified gmd what is the method of modified gmd in this method we use the similar formula that is natural log d equivalent by gmr but the modification here is that gmr is not calculated using the r prime like in inductance we used r prime for calculating the gmr which was equal to 0.7788 of r but for capacitance we will calculate gmr by using just radius of the conductor okay so in this way this is the modification which we will do in the calculation of capacitance and gmr accordingly this c with ds is showing the same thing that this gmr is being calculated for calculation of capacitances of the transmission line so there will be a modification in the radius which we will take for the conductor in inductance we did not take the actual radius we took the modified radius but in capacitance we will take take the actual radius of the conductor now you see that these lines these lines are kind of in parallel why because the same tower will start from same source same source is here same source is here and we will terminate at the same load so these lines are kind of in parallel so if we assume that the loads are same uh, of course if they are parallel so loads will be same and every parameters are similar then we can assume that the the conductors of same phase that is phase for conductor a and a dash or b and b dash or c and c dash the current will be same therefore the charge on a and a dash will be same similarly b and b dash it will be same for c and c dash it will be same so that's why i will take same charge for these same conductors now let's find the potential difference between point a and b due to these charges so let's start we will use the same formula vab is equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon qa natural log d2 by d1 so let us see first this is qa here so for this what we, what will be the d2 this is point 2 this is point 2 and this is point 1 so for this charge d2 is equal to d 
and for the same charge what will d1 d1 will be just its radius so here it is d by r so now let us see the potential difference due to the charge a dash of course the charge on a dash is same as qa so i have taken qa common and for this what is d2 this one which is equal to root 3d this dimension is also equal to root 3d so this is the same which i have taken here and what is d1 here it is same as this dimension and it is equal to 2d so that same which i have put it here now similarly writing for qb charge that is charge qb is here also and here also i will write the same expression for this charge what is d2 d2 is just its radius so that's why i have put r here and for this charge what is d1 it is this distance capital d so i have put it here now for this charge what is d2 d2 is 2d this this dimension this is equal to 2d so the same i have put here and for this charge what is what is <coughs> for this charge what is d1 d1 is this distance and what is this distance this distance is root 3 times d so this is the same which i put here now let us see what happens for charge qc charge qc is here also and here also for this what is for this charge qc what is d2 d2 is just capital d the same which i put here and what is d1 it is root 3d the same which i put here okay now for this charge what is d2 d2 will be root 3d and what is d1 it's capital d so you see this is the expression which we will get for the vab now you see that there is a symmetry in the placing of the conductors these are placed on the vertices of regular hexagon so there is no requirement of transposition since every conductor is having a similar position with respect to each other so there will not be any difference in the capacitance due to their position so in this way we do not require transposition if i place the double circuit lines in a hexagon regular hexagon so there is no need to transpose and calculate the potential difference between various sections so in this way i can write vab directly after solving this now on simplifying i will take i will use this formula natural log a plus natural log b is equal to natural log ab so that's what i have done here i have multiplied all these and i have got this nat qa natural log root 3d by 2r similarly i will get qb natural log 2r by root 3d and this will cancel out this will cancel out this will cancel out and it will be equal to natural log 1 or equal to 0 similarly i can write directly the expression for vac just replace b by c here so in this way i will get the expression for vac also now as we have seen in our previous lectures also that vab plus vac is equal to 3 times of v an okay so what i will get i will put these vab plus vac equal to 3 van now you see this term is common so qb plus qc will be outside now this is same thing here so it will become twice now i will use qb plus qc is equal to minus qa and minus sign will be taken inside so log term will get inverted in this way this will be this term will and this term will become same so it will give me 3 times qa by 2 pi epsilon natural log root 3d by 2r now what will be the value of the capacitance of this conductor with respect to neutral the charge on this conductor divided by the potential difference between neutral and this conductor so it will come out to be 2 pi epsilon divided by natural log root 3 by 2 r farad per meter this is charge per unit length that's why the unit is farad per meter now you see 
that I have taken a charge QA for this conductor. So this have given me the capacitance between this conductor and the neutral. So, but to find the total capacitance of phase A, you see the phase A can be thought of as constituted by these two wires, these two conductors. And these two conductors are in parallel. So their capacitances are in parallel. And so CA and, and CA dash and will add in parallel because capacitances add when they are in parallel. So and the expression is same because the charge is same or over them. So the expression for CA dash n will be also equal to CA n. So in this way, if I want to find the capacitance, capacitance of this full phase A with respect to neutral, so I will add these, it will give me twice of CA n, which will come out to be 4 pi epsilon natural log root 3 d by 2 r. Now you see, I have derived here the expression for capacitance of the full phase A with respect to neutral by using the basic concept. Now let us see whether can I use the formula, this, this formula that uh, capacitance to neutral of, F, of a phase A of some phase to neutral is given by 2 pi epsilon natural log d equivalent by GMD, GMR of that, uh, that phase. This is the same formula which we have studied in our previous video. So let us see whether I can use this general formula also. Let us see. Now to calculate d equivalent. What is d equivalent? D, let me rub it. Now let's see what is d equivalent. d equivalent is nothing just cube root of d a b d b c d c a their cube root but you see d a b cannot be written directly because there are two conductors in each phase so what will be d a b d a b will be equal to using the same gmd formula d a b d a b dash d a dash b d a dash b dash and their power is to 1 by 4. Similarly, I can write d b c also as d b c d b c dash d b dash c d b dash c dash and d c a as d c a d c a dash d c dash a d c dash a dash and everyone is having a power 1 by 4 and I have to raise this whole multiplication by 1 by 3. So total power will become 1 by 12. So that's what I have written here power 1 by 12. On putting the values, what is DAB here? DAB. It is root 3D. Sorry, DAB. DAB. It is D. Okay. And what is DAB dash? AB dash. It is root 3D. Similarly, what is DA dash B? It is DA dash B. It is still root 3D. And what is DA dash B dash? DA dash B dash. It is D. Similarly, I can write all these remaining expression. And on solving, D equivalent will come out to be 3 raised to power 1 by 4 into D. Now find we will find D S C. So since the conductors are same for each phase that is they are having same similar distance and same dia or same radius. So D S C for one conductor will be equal to other also. So D S C can be found out as let us say I am trying to find D S C for phase A conductors only that is G M R of phase A conductor for capacitance. It will be D A A D A A dash D A dash A D A dash A dash and raised to power how many terms are there 4 raised to power 1 by 4 putting the value what I will get I will get 2 R D raised to power 1 by 2 2 R D raised to power 1 by 2 now putting these D equivalent and DSC in this formula that is capacitance of full phase A with respect to neutral is given by 2 pi epsilon natural log 
डी इक्वलेंट बाय डी ऑन पुटिंग दिस मल्टीप्लाइंग एंड डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडिंग द न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बाय टू आई विल सी दैट आई कैन राइट दिस फॉर्मूला एज फोर पाई एफ साइलन नेचुरल लॉग रूट थ्री डी बाय टू आर विच इज सेम एग्जैक्टली सेम एज दैट विच वी हैव ड्राइव बाय यूजिंग बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट सो इन दिस वे वी कैन सी दैट वी कैन ड्राइव द कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ ए ट्रांसमिशन लाइन बाय यूजिंग द मॉडिफाइड जीएमडी मेथड now i have shown here that this modified gmd method is applicable for hexagonal spacing in the next video i will show that this modified gmd method is also applicable for vertical and flat spacing so in this way we can generalize that for every spacing which ranges from hexagonal to flat that is any spacing like this which is between these two kind of formation that in this spacing i can use modified gmd method for calculation of capacitance of capacitance of transmission line so in this way i have generalized that for any kind of configuration of line which lies between a hexagon and a vertical spacing we can use modified gmd method so here i sum up this video in the next video i will uh, see i will tell that uh, modified gmd method is applicable for vertical spacing also now if you find my lectures helpful then it is requested that you please subscribe and share my youtube channel and we have also created a telegram link whose link is a telegram group whose link is given in description of this video uh, you can join that group for doubt discussion of the concepts or the uh, chapters which we have discussed in our online lectures thank you